Hello, hello, dear viewers, friends, and all that. Today I come at, I come at you with a pretty uh pretty special and impromptu episode, and you're gonna see why right now ish. Yeah, you see that down there? Yes, you are reading that correctly. That is a Carcarodontosaurus. Uh, he appears to. What what? Uh. uh... What's he? He's having the same problem as the RG in the last episode. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, before I get too far off topic, <clears throat> yeah, this creature was just re released today, and sort of a surprise. Like I don't think anybody saw this coming, and uh, I would have missed it too. But um, you know, you know, you double check as one does. I, I actually saw it in my uh, YouTube feed. Hey, here's how to tame this. Now. Uh, I did watch part of the video, enough to know that indeed the creature had been released. I thought for sure, you know, maybe it's just some sort of a testing, or maybe it's fake or something. Okay, there he goes. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Oh, my. But yeah, I had no idea that this thing had been released today. So that's, uh, that is good to know. Uh, and as I said, I did, uh, I spoiled myself on how to tame this creature, which, you know, I think at the end of the day is just fine. You know, it's probably not ideal, but it is what it is. So, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Where the hell do you think you're going, sir? Alright, I'm gonna come down here and hope he doesn't, his aggro isn't too crazy. There he is. Is he about to die to that Bracky? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Okay, the way I'm gonna attempt this is the same way that I saw in the video, and I would assume it, it's just as viable. You know, the same U-formation trap. Same, similar to taming a Giga, which, if I'm not mistaken, this creature is very comparable to in its, in its stats. Probably should have made a second bear trap for if this inevitably goes uh, goes sideways, which it will. This is arc. You never get anything done the right way in this game the first time. Um, okay, and the way we are going to do this, the way you tame this is sort of like with the Fjord Hawk, in that it wants you to feed it bodies, as you will see. Come on, buddy. Come on. Go Whoa, look at this thing. Why? Oh. Oh! Oh, you hurt. Oh, you hurt a lot. Ow! Sir! Oh, he's just murdering everything. Oh, and I've been, uh, I've been raged. I've been, like, shredded there. Ow! Sir! By the way, if you enjoyed this video, do me a solid, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, share with your friends, all that good stuff. And, uh, ow! Ow! I gotcha, you fucker. Wait. <laughs> How you like that, buddy? Yeah, they can't break metal, but they can break stone. Um... That's mine. Don't worry, friend. You will see why I wanted that in a moment. Now, I'm... Ow! Okay, here's what we're gonna do. So, he... He's gonna try and why? Oh my god, he's so powerful, he's making the metal gates bleed. And as you can see, this man is no joke. Like this thing is 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 serious business. Now, it doesn't really matter what you start with here, as long as you get this close enough that uh, he comes to that he will start doing a. You'll see in a second. You'll see in a minute. Right now, he's just uh, he's having a moment. I like how he kind of oh oh oh.
Okay. Oh, ow! Ow. Sir, I did not, I do not appreciate that. Okay, thankfully I have a sniper rifle to make all those pesky parts. Yeah, there we go. This guy's gonna be on me in a minute. Thankfully, he is nice and weakened. Come on. Okay. How convenient that these Andrew Sarkis are here. So basically, from what I gather, what you want to do is you see that meter right there above his head, that little, like, chaining thing? You want to get that all the way filled up, and once it is, uh, take this man's out and, uh, well, let me see. Oh. Uh, well... Oh, that's a one point nine. This might suck. Thank you. Oh boy. Okay, that should fill him up, right? Yes, sir. Let's go. Come here, come here. Uh, hey. There we go, yeah, you're supposed to do this. Bye. Yeah, you can't access his inventory, so, uh, yeah, that, that's... Something. I don't think he eats either. He doesn't have great stamina, but this thing is indeed comparable to a Giga. I am thankful it's not, like, labeled fully as the Giga Killer, per se, if, you, if that makes sense. But basically, uh, that little imprint-like buff is there so that you can actually... Oh, okay. Bye! Wow, that, that did nothing. But I love the stomp animation. Look at this. Oh, what? What? Bullshit. Boo. So basically what I think you're trying to do is you're trying to fill up that meter right there as much as it'll go. Uh, we did lose a little bit of taming effectiveness, but... And that's because smart me forgot to make a sanguine elixir for this, so... Oops. So basically this is an excuse to go on a rampage. Every time you kill, you'll trigger that blood frenzy. Now, it's worth noting here that I did unfortunately have to Dino Wipe once I found out this was a thing. Uh, I, I do apologize for that, but that and normally I wouldn't do it, but this is a brand new dinosaur and uh, like I didn't know this was happening. I, I don't think anybody knew. Like I said, I think it's just a matter of... Uh, it, it's just here. Have fun, guys. It's in the latest update, so... Boom! Now, 
Now you want to try and take as uh, little damage as possible. You remember that when that trike hit me, it dropped my taming effectiveness bar a little bit there, as you can see. So you got to be careful with that. Okay, we got a level 20. If I fight those Dinotherium, I will absolutely get my effectiveness just destroyed. So we're not going to do that. Already got about 67.5% effectiveness. We got some new Antrosarchus in here. Let's do this. I don't think level matters too much. No. I think size matters, but... I know you can use your own tames as well for this. At least I think so. Yes. Yes, you can. And your own tames may prove more effective. But um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to feed my creatures to this. What is this? A giant Troodon? Get out of here. Nah, we're not about that life here. Now, you see, once that bar hits 100%, uh, then you, you, fully, you fully tamed it up. And uh, that meter counting down above with the imprinting symbol, if that runs out, I think it just kicks me the hell off. And yeah, there you go. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I lost effectiveness for falling two feet. Get out of here. There you go. Name your Karkaranonosaurus. We'll, we'll name you later, buddy. But uh, yeah, I made the saddle. I unlocked the saddle. You can see it's very similar to a Giga. What the hell? Although, I think this one, uh, oh, oh, the damage. It's a little bit both worse and better. It's important to remember that this creature that I'm currently fighting is made for Okay, let's see. Bang! Now, that, that right there, is, it does exactly the same thing as the Reaper's Tail Swipe. It knocks back and, and does some damage. Although, it doesn't work too well on these guys. But this thing has a lot of cool abilities that really help it uh, contend with, yes, it can even gigas, at least tame ones. I don't know about wild ones. You can see we're doing a nice 436 damage. That is no joke. And uh, this rageometer thing, that like that debuff is the shred debuff, so that is doing kind of a bleed effect, I think. Okay, that's the roar. No, the roar does not have a fear effect. He just turned to run because I did him enough damage. Although the roar does have a buff similar to the U Tyrannus buff. So this is just a better UT, except you cannot bring this into a boss fight. Which is absolute rubbish in my opinion. But yeah, every time I kill a creature, uh, I get that buff that I think it makes me faster and makes me immune to stun. Um, and it will just keep happening over and over again. But every time I fight, I also get the, the enraged buff. Or not the enraged buff, the enraged buff. So I just start going absolutely ham. And that is what allows this creature to contend with the likes of, of the Giga and, and any Apex Carnivore in the game. Now I feel comfortable fighting the Dinotherium. Yeah, you see how my damage is slowly going up every single time I hit? Yeah, that buff stacks. Like, the, 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 I think it's the, um, I'll have to fully look at the creature, but, yeah. Man. Now these uh these spawn in the exact same areas as Gigas do, so you may have to kill Gigas to get them to appear. But uh yeah, I was lucky enough to spot this guy while flying around. Basically what happened was as soon as I found out these were a thing, I went, oh shit. Oh my god, the lag. Okay. So 
as soon as I found out they had been released, naturally, I went looking for one. Didn't find one, so I, I dino wiped, looked again, and then found one. And again, as I said, normally I would be very good. Normally I wouldn't dino wipe just for one specific creature to spawn. But since this creature was just released, and released in such a way that, you know, like nobody really knew that it was coming, it was just, hey, it's in the latest update, basically. Um, yeah. Yeah, at that point, all bets were off. Like, I think in that situation, it was perfectly okay because I had no way to, um, to address it. But yeah, my damage buff just keeps going and going. Although it's going to stop now that I... Let's see. I'm uh, probably going to use this thing for breeding purposes, but let's just level some melee here. Okay, actually, not a whole lot. If these things are like Gigas, I don't want to level health at all. No point to it. Um, their stats definitely look similar to Gigas. And from what I've seen in that video, yeah, they, they are. Oh my god. This creature, definitely worth the effort to get it. 100%. Uh, by the way, you must be level 96 to unlock its saddle. So this is basically um, Giga 2.0, but better. Uh, actually, no, not necessarily better. I, I think it. I think it has its own set of its own niches. Um, I would say for raw damage, I think the Giga is still superior, but not by much. And definitely not after the buffs that it receives. Okay, but let's go over attacks. You know, left click, standard bite, and this is what triggers the, um, the slash debuff on enemies and also allows you uh, to get the rage, ben the benefits of the, like, the blood frenzy. Then you have this which is the Reaper Tail Swipe. Same thing, just shorter range. Um, let's see, does Control do anything? No. Does X do anything? No. How about C? Okay, C is the Uteranus Roar, I'm pretty sure, even though there was no obvious buff there. I'll try it next to Cammy and see if that works. Boom! Get fucked. <laughs> oh yeah, you can see a buff on Cammy right there. See that? That little, like, energy gathering thing. There you go. Yeah, you cannot... I don't think you can bring this into boss fights, but you can take it to the extinction bosses, the extinction titans. And you can also take it to, um... Let's see, what is it? You can also take it to all the world bosses on here. So that's good. Again, as I said, it is, it is absolute rubbish that you cannot do that. You cannot take this into a normal boss fight, but at the same time, I kind of get it. With the abilities this creature has, it would be absolutely devastating in any boss fight and essentially remove the challenge. It's like, oh, you want to beat the dragon? Get a car car. Yeah, I know what I'm going to name this guy in honor of uh, Carcaradonosaurus. If the name sounds like a shark, uh, it does literally mean shark-toothed lizard. So, there you go. Um, fun fact, um, th this thing was actually lived in the same place at around the same time as the Spinosaurus. Oh, uh, roughly the same place. You know, both, are, both would have been African dinosaurs and... Um, 
I remember watching Planet Dinosaur back in the day, and uh, yeah, they apparently might have even interacted, which is, you know, as it explains there, the reason why they could do that is because... Mm. Mm. Was because they didn't directly compete with each other for food. So they were able to coexist. Which I think is just crazy. Um, and this is an... This is... Oh, I just... Just why... All right, well, I'm gonna have to make another one. I'm not sure I like that stomp sound effect, and I'm not sure I care for the like big crest on its head, like the bit on the back of its on its neck there, like those spines with the flaps. Those are a little shadow many to me. I don't know if I'm all right. I'm gonna pull one point into health and see how much we get. Wow. Oh, wait. Hold up. Oh, no, you actually get a little bit more. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you get like a hundred. Still not worth it. <laughs> it's absolutely not worth it at all. Rubbish. Don't even waste your time. Although, I will say that does make mutating health possibly worth it. Because you will get you know, some bang for your buck there. Although, I don't know how much you'd really need to use that. Yeah, more worth it than with the Giga, but just still probably not a great use of your time. Actually, I want to hear this aesthetic roar. Ooh, I really like that. that that's a good sound. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to kill these guys, and I think we're going to head out and see if we can locate another one. I do have the S Plus Tech Transmitter, but as you know with me, I sometimes forget the things that I make that are, are there, even if I'm standing right next to them. Which, uh, speaks, speaks to my, to my memory highly, even though I actually do have a pretty good memory in real life. I don't know why. It's just, I guess I never really bothered using the S, the Tech Transmitter. Um, so it's like, I made, I made one and then you're like, oh, that's cool. Like, I know it's there, I just forget that it's, like, a thing to use. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's not full muscle memory. Okay. Very definitely, this is an absolutely stellar meat gatherer and absolutely god-tier carnivore. Right, at, completely up there with the Giga, I would say. You know, the game, they, it, was, it was marketed as another Apex Predator to be right up there with the Giga and its tier list, and I think they accomplished that stupendously. Okay, and stats right there, very similar to the Giga that we initially got, uh, to Screamsla. So yeah, I can't complain about that. It's one of those cre it's one of those creatures where it's so good that it honestly does not matter if you get a really bad one unless it's like a really bad one. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. I kinda wanna see if we can get another one. Um the Savage Acrocanthosaurus. I bring up the Savage Acro yet again because, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about right now. Like, can I use this creature to... What the hell? What? Oh, my. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to report a murder. <laughs> I say when I just destroyed the entire hillside back there. <laughs> but, yeah, I bring up the Savage Acro because that is a world boss. Like, you can absolutely fight that which means you can fight it with this creature. And unlike the Giga, it would not have the debuff that the Giga receives to it. So it is possible that we might be able to do some really cool work with it. I don't know. That depends. We'll have to see. My guess is um, <laughs> the creator of Arcaditions will probably do something to to take care of that, but we shall see. I know for sure it's, it's immune to bleed, so the Savage Acro will not care about the bleed damage that this creature does, but that doesn't mean that this creature cannot receive a buff while fighting it, as long as there are creatures around to kill consistently. <clears throat> also, you still get the the um, the blood frenzy buff just from biting repeatedly. So I don't know. It would require it will require some testing, but this creature's damage is solid enough that I think we could manage. To, oh my! That we could definitely manage to do some work. 
Oh, all right. I'm going to cut away, and hopefully we'll be able to find another one. A few moments late there. Actually, it's more like, uh... How long is it? Well, in-game, uh... Quite a while. Uh, in reality, I don't know about... I want to say 40 minutes or so. Not that long in comparison to how long I've had to look around for other creatures, although... Um, interestingly enough, uh, I didn't bother checking this spot until, well, just about now. What I ended up doing was I went home and, uh, took care of some breeding, and then I went out on the hunt, and, um, I guess this, uh, lovely green lady must have appeared sometime between now and then. I really like this green. Look at that. It's like a, almost like a forest green and then little emerald dots. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No. No, I'm not ready to fight you yet. Okay, you're over there. And now, in this case, uh, this is the same spot where we tamed Scrimsla. But we are not going to use the same, uh, method of trapping her- of trapping this, uh, female in the, uh, in the- in the river, in the, uh, ravine. Because that won't work here. I mean, it, it kinda will, I guess, but... Uh, in reality, it won't work as well as it needs to. Alright, I'm gonna kill this guy. When the bat is so powerful, it can topple trees with a single bite. Because physics. Physics, everybody! Yeah, I rebuilt uh, the final gate. Ooh. Uh-oh. Can it fit in there? Hmm. Okay, yeah, just just setting up my trap here. Same same deal as the last time. Uh, but yeah, we're not going to trap this one in the river like we did with the Giga because there's just not really a point to that. Like that that doesn't really help my that doesn't really help me actually um <clears throat> actually tame in any meaningful way because you can't knock it out. So I can't just sit at range and throw things at it. I suppose I could tame it. I suppose I could knock it into the into the river and then proceed to just drop bodies down there, but I don't want to do that. This creature deserves more respect than having dead things just thrown on the ground. Like, this is a sacrificial offering. Ow! Well, I can... Oh my! I can't tell if it has less or more melee than the other one, but it is still hitting me for a chunk of damage. As you can see. Ah, you son of a... No! Actually, wait. If I get the killing blow. Oh, uh oh. Oh yeah, yup. Ow. Where'd that trike come from? It was a rock trike! Well, there goes my initial plan. For what? Can you not eat that? Oh, fuck. Ow. Come on. Cammy. Uh. Nope. That didn't work. All right. 
Take two. Oh god, this thing is uh, starting to really hurt. You'd think. Oh, oh. You're gonna swing her all the way around. <laughs> uh. okay, I will be back with some taste of treats. Except you killed them all. All right. Um. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's what that's what she wants. Really? Never mind. Yeah, she smelled it, but she couldn't reach it. So, okay. Uh, any more sheep over here? There were a couple earlier. Yes, here we go. Okay, I think I know what must be. Really? Grab the floof ball, Cammy. There you go. C Cammy's Cammy's a little out of it at the moment. She's she's had a rough day.
Alrighty, gonna go get the other ones now. Probably not gonna be enough, but hey, it's a start. Yeah, see, she's already dropping that down. So. Oh, fuck off. Come on. Ah. Well, it was so easy the first time, and now it's just absolutely infuriating. It's not that it's hard, it's just like I can't I guess it's just that I haven't figured out all the patterns yet, so I don't know what what in what she's actually doing. Okay, I'm just gonna approach nice and slow. There we go. Okay. So you gotta be patient. Patience is the key. My god, come on. What? There we go. That was like shenanigans, I declare. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Not just any corpse will do. Okay, so no. Man. You know what? I'll bring us back when we've actually got it, uh, got it just about ready. Because this might take a while. What? The fuck? Welcome back to the Paul's screen. Don't worry, we won't be here for long. Um, I had to do this first. <sighs> okay. Yeah, unfortunately I died again between cuts and it just like... Uh... But hey, we finally got it done, so let's get out here and have some fun. I did bring along some tames with me to use, but that's boring, so we're just gonna kill a bunch of creatures and I will vent my rage this way. Yeah, you could tell by my silence that I'm not happy right now. Man, it's just sort of it's just sort of decompressing. Wait, what? Killing those netted me. Oh, oh, no. We don't want to do that. No fall damage. That means I lose taming effectiveness. Nope, nope, can't use weapons. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do... Well, first what we're gonna have to do is a deal with a lag spike there. Haha, -ha, you fools! My god, these things hit so hard.
See why this is so much more fun? <laughs> no need to waste time with killing canes, even though I have a bunch of spare creatures that I brought specifically for this. I just died. Just decided it wasn't worth it in the end. Ugh. But yeah, the first time we did this, it went swimmingly. This time it was just... It was trash. no time for your games but yes yeah, so as you can see i did indeed die as i stated um man that was a real joy uh, especially since uh because of the way the really you don't really do come on why, why are you doing that what that's not the one i want uh freaking megan Yura. Okay, so I also summoned in the floating gate. No, I didn't. <laughs> I just placed it. Oh, boy. I'm glad that's done and over with. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a stat difference here. Actually, no, I think their melee is exactly the same again. Is it? Um, here. Why, yes, it is, actually. 110%. Oh, this one has so many wasted points in movement speed, but it's okay. It's all right. I'll make it work. I wonder what an imprinted one of these things can do. We're gonna have to find out. But that is another episode for another day. Uh, For now, I'm trying to get back to Kami and all these freaking bears. I, I, I don't want to hear any shit. Yeah, I think, by the way, with that whole Fjordhawk thing, I think Wildcard put that in because they were sick and tired of people cheesing wyverns. <laughs> Which makes sense. Also, it's a little bit OP that you just negate all consequences of death by just respawning. I still say the Fjordhawk is probably the best shoulder pet in the game, objectively, but it's definitely not as good as it used to be. And yes, that includes it's. That means I do think it's better than the uh, Cynomicrops. Is the Cynomicrops good? Yes, but it's also on Lost Island. <laughs> well, don't get me wrong. Lost Island's a, a fun, like a fun map, but like I don't know, man. Just wasn't my cup of tea. I also thought that the taming method for the Amargosaurus was absolute trash. Like it makes no sense that you do that with an herbivore. Like, that whole use a, like, hunt with it to kill creatures. Dude, that would have worked amazingly for a creature like the Carcharodonosaurus. And sort of, that's what you have to do. You just give it offerings of flesh. Give it offerings of the flesh, and then it will ride with you into battle. And then it will be tamed. Which is, in actuality, a far more realistic taming method than nearly every other, like, officially released art creature. As you were, gentlemen. 
But yeah, that is going to do it for today's episode. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, do me a solid. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, tell your friends. All that good stuff. <laughs> and I will see you guys on the next one. This has been TBT signing out. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Before we, before we go, uh, since you're getting this one early, um, I'm not sure there's going to be a Monday one. Maybe, but I don't know. So, oh, okay. So, uh, we shall, we will have to see about that. Uh, it, it sort of depends on what goes on tomorrow. But I will let you guys know. Um, in the meantime, I would say, time to get these guys to work. Okay, now time to, time to set the plan in motion. I'm gonna have to remake all my folders again, of course, but... Oh, I'm feeling significantly better. Yeah, see, honestly, that was why, like, the the, uh, the second part of the taming method where you get to ride around and kill things, it's so satisfying. It is so satisfying. Oh, I feel so much better. But yeah, that is the Carcharodontosaurus. More testing and more stuff will be incoming to just uh, give you guys more information about it. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do. And, uh, yeah. New dinosaur, new plans. It actually worked out great, other than the second part of the, the video. Anyway, once again, I will catch you guys next time. Bye!